Hey, hey, what's happening, guys? It is now the next morning, and as you can see, we got the clock working. And if I bring in my phone, I've had this running since yesterday, and they matched up a minute ago, so you know, they're, they're, they are less than a minute off of each other, which is great. I still don't understand all the functions of this, and I still believe that this is a dead segment up here. So, I've reflowed them. I don't know what else to do with that. I will put the speaker up here so you can hear it speak. It is 29 past 8. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously I had this one soldered in wrong. As you can see, on the outside ones, uh, on the at first, second, and fourth, the dot goes on the bottom. On the third one, the dot goes at the top. And the reason for that is so that you can get the colon action to show the second count. All right. So now we move on to the part two. Second part. This will be putting the clock into its little acrylic case. So the first thing you have to do is get this protective coating off. And I'm not good at this. I don't have the patience for this. So I'm going to stop recording. before the video gets an R rating. Be back when they're all clear. All right, I got all the pieces uncovered. This actually wasn't too terrible. It only took me two songs. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I have to listen to music when I'm doing this because it's just irritating to me. So... The songs I listen to, just in case you're curious, are She's Gone by Hollow Notes and Roll Me Away by Bob Seger. Screw is not comfortable. Fix the show is short screw. Okay, so this is the back piece, and we are supposed to start by putting a screw through the hole and attaching the copper. Post to it, and then we'll give her a little snuggy, snug, snug <clears throat> to up the next one. So it is December sixth, twenty twenty two. Oops. I thought I had that clamped in there pretty well with that collet, but no, that's not going to work. And the reason it was like that is because the thing that it normally goes into has lost its magnet, or the magnet has failed any other thing. Obviously, the magnet's still in there, but so try this again. This is the way it goes. This is my. Yes, I have much better tools than this. But this is my little Harbor Freight screwdriver that I just really like. Yeah, I'm looking at the instructions on the computer. Because, you know, of course, nobody gives you instructions anymore. Everybody just wants you to download them. All right, so that was step one. All right, step two. Install Y-shaped decorative piece. All right, I was going to say, how am I supposed to do that? Because it didn't give me any nuts. But I don't know if you can see there. 
the uh, the plastic is like uh, <laughs> come on. I have added an auxiliary external magnet. Yeah, this this hole that they've doesn't look like they drilled it. They may have broached it because it appears to be fluted, and it is grabbing this screw. No problem. It does not hold it tight though, so. I've got an extra screw that will match it, I believe. So I'm just going to put that extra screw on there for a little bit of uh, extra security, you know. There, that's much better now. Alright, so now we're going to find out if the battery backup works. Toot. So we are supposed to install this. You're supposed to stick the speaker back here somehow. But the, I mean, there's the whole... Oh, you gotta be... God bless America. All right, I resoldered the speaker wires on. Now I'm going to attempt to fix our speaker. And get it in the box. Okay, that went all right. Shockingly. So now I'll put in one of the side panels. This will be the one that gives us access to the uh, barrel jack for power. Doesn't want to go in that hole. It's going this way. No, it can't go in that way. It fits fine that way. It should fit fine this way. Yeah. It does fit fine that way. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. So it's a tight fit. And the bottom. This, this might just go together okay. Oh, of course not. Come on. Everybody get on there. All right. And now, now we have to try and convince the front to go on.
Holy cow. It's all together. Let's get some screws in there. And hope they reach. I don't think that one did. It's not going to reach. Yeah, it don't fit. There's like a millimeter and a half, two millimeter gap there. Everything is tight. But the screws don't fit. Let's see if this will go in. It is five o'clock. Yep. Yeah. I know what to do. Take a look at this. There is no room for the speaker. That's where the problem lies. So if we fit this in here, without the speaker it goes in just fine but once we put the speaker especially where they want it it's not going to fit so I have a solution for this this ain't going to be an alarm clock Let's see what happens now. I understand why companies build I don't think it's going to fit this way either. I understand why they build using this acrylic. It's incredibly cost efficient. You know, they laser cut it, snaps together mostly, and you simply need a couple of fasteners to secure it at the end. So, no. No, there's no difference at all with or without the speaker. So, unless I'm missing something else, and if I am, you know, please, oh, shoot, I keep forgetting to put the, the film in here, which is too long. Okay, again, that's something that should be should be done in a finished marketable product I understand it's a DIY product but still holy cow it just wants to pop apart at every opportunity
Well, 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 let me tell you something, my little kid friend. Once I get out the super glue, you're not going anywhere. Come on. This is top one. Oh, that's in there. There we go. So I will super glue it together. It'll make a nice clock. There's no one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.